Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 24th of 2020, well, it is titled Around the World at Night. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that will run about a minute or so and shows a number of uh, images and time-lapse videos of the night sky from various locations around the Earth. So you can see if you recognize anything and see the differences in some ways in the night sky as you look at this. So as you go ahead and play the video, one of the first things that you will see is the night sky beginning to darken, and then you'll see the locations change. Now, some of them are very bright, and some of them are very uh, dark, so you'll get more or less of a view of the sky there. Sometimes you'll see star trails as the skies are let through there. You'll see clouds other times, and you'll be able to see other objects in the sky, including the moon and the planets and nebulae, as they move, as the, we go through the various different locations that we are looking at. And some of the dark, really dark locations, you'll be able to see our Milky Way galaxy uh, as we see it from within. So you'll be able to get some better or less well views of that. Sometimes it'll be a little hazy. Sometimes you'll be able to see some very, very dark uh, sights showing our Milky Way very distinctly. And you'll be able to see even uh, trails of satellites uh, or meteors as they come across the image. So the whole idea here is a chance to get to look at the night sky and not to... Uh, just look at the very darkest sites, but look at others too, because even in your own location, you definitely get a view of the night sky, and more or less will be visible depending on where you happen to be and how bright your night sky is. So we can bring attention to the idea of light pollution, and you can notice that in some of these uh, images, you can see quite a bit of light pollution uh, where the cities are very bright and that lights up not only the city because light doesn't just go down, but it also is goes out into the sky and brightens the sky, making it a lot harder to see fainter objects. So if you live in or near a big city, you may have trouble seeing uh, some of the uh, fainter objects in the sky. If you go out to a darker site, then you may be able to see things like our Milky Way galaxy. And I will also note that the images you see here are taken by camera, so they're not the same views you would get with your naked eye. Uh, the eye could only collect light for a certain amount of time, and the camera can be left open for a longer period of time, bringing out far more detail. So some of these images, even if you went to the darkest site you can imagine on Earth and looked up at the Milky Way, you still would not see all of the detail that is shown in some of the images of the Milky Way here, simply because the camera can record and bring out far more detail than your eye is able to. But again, the video that you've seen today is a chance to look at uh, the night sky from a number of different locations, and this is in celebration of what is called International Dark Sky Week, which is this cur current week. So that was our picture of the day for April the 24th of 2020. It was titled Around the World at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.